So to me, this is this place is kind of like the the first step that I took towards getting a better life. Um, I mean, I was a first generation college student, so I didn't even know how to apply to school. So getting here is kind of like what what made me become who I am today. I was looking at a bunch of other small liberal arts schools, and I realized that. Uh, Earlham was going to make me not just grow intellectually, but kind of spiritually as well. And so for me, that was a really big selling point, that there seemed to be something bigger than just getting your kind of brain education there. So I thought that was important. Growing up Quaker, you know, I, I had a, 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 I'll say, um, a fairly broad worldview already. And I'll say that coming to Earlham only helped to, to crystallize that worldview, to provide more experiences, deeper experiences, more interaction with people who didn't look like me. I mean, grew up in Indiana. Probably the first thing that jumps to mind are the lifelong friendships you make, um, the kind of incredible community that you develop here. Um, the other obvious thing for me is that I would not be in the career I'm in if it weren't for my experience here. Um, and so uh, getting really passionate about what I do for a living started here with the encouragement of some amazing master teachers. A lot of the classes, you know, you take them and they're really hard and you get really frustrated because you don't think you can get through it, but everybody supports you and pushes you and you learn how to learn. Uh, so I I was able to be very successful because I was, I always said, yes, I could do that. Yes, I can I can learn how to do that or, or I don't know how to do it now, but give me a week and I'll, I'll come back to you and I can figure it out.